Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> <laughs> I know, absolutely awful. Don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Recently, I did a video on how to set up a fire stick for streaming. Now, for a lot of people, this is very, very basic, but I do still get a lot of messages asking if I've got an updated guide or an updated walkthrough video. And well, here it is. I'm going to talk as clear as possible and in my best English and hopefully the video is easy enough for all of you to follow. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm going to make this video as fast as possible. I'm guessing you've already signed into your device with your Amazon account. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go across to settings. And once on settings, we're going to click down and we're going to go across to where it says My Fire TV. It is behind my head there. I hope you can see it. And once I click on it, we're going to click on where it says about. And then if we scroll down, as you can see, it's currently telling me to install an update. Now, I didn't know this was here and I thought it would have done it automatically. But as you can see, it hasn't. So it's important to keep checking this so your Fire Stick works as it should. Now, I'm going to install that update after I've done this video. I just don't want to make it longer than it has to be. So, right, your Fire Stick is basically set up, ready for you to stream you can download and install all your official apps like netflix you've got youtube prime video iplayer imdb tv if you're in such as the us you've got your hulu and that as well and if you've owned any amazon devices previously when you do log into that account it will ask you if you want to install any of those apps on those devices to this one as well but to get to the amazon store what we can do is go to find down and it will say search and then you can type in any app that you want to search for. And what I do recommend that you get is Downloader. So I'm going to type in Downloader. And as I start to type it in, underneath you can see it says Downloader there. So once I click on this, it's the orange box. I'm going to click that again. And then we're going to see the downward arrow. And I'm going to click on Download. Give it a few moments just to install. Now, one thing to know, if you do have any problems installing this, it may be because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. I haven't come across this for a while, but I do know previously people without bank details set up to the Amazon account did sometimes have issues when installing apps from the App Store. So you can go ahead and click on Open. Another way to access your apps as well is by going to the app drawer there. You see the few boxes and the plus icon there. We can click on that and then we can go down. We can long hold on the app that we want to move and we can move this to the home page. Click on the home button again and you can see it's being added. Alternatively, we can go to settings, down and across to applications, manage installed applications, and then scroll down and these are all the apps you've got installed on your device. And something else this section is very useful for, if you ever find that an app crashes or it just freezes, you can click on the home button, then come here and say Netflix froze and I couldn't do anything. I come here, click on it, and you can click on force stop. And now when you launch the application again, it will launch from fresh, meaning it'll no longer be stuck or froze. Now, obviously, a lot of people that buy streaming devices like this want to install apps that aren't available in such as the Amazon App Store or Google Store, etc. So this is where Downloader comes in handy. Now, something we have to do first is go across to Settings, once again to My Fire TV, go to where it says Developer Options, and then we want to install unknown apps. And we want to turn this on for downloader. Now, if you are using an older version of a Fire Stick, this may just ask you to turn it on or turn it off. I'm using the Fire Stick Max, and this is going to tell me each app that I can allow to install unknown apps. So once that's turned on, I'm going to click on Home. I'm going to get rid of that orange little notification thing at the top there. If I go to Notifications, I'm going to click on the three-line button on my remote. If I get rid of me one second, you can see it says dismiss all, and then that disappears. Now we're going to open up Downloader. So once we click on this, you need to make sure you allow the permissions. If you don't allow the permissions, Downloader won't be able to install anything to your device. So we're going to click on Allow, and then click OK. And then you're going to click on the search bar. So click up, and then click Enter, and then it'll bring up a keypad. And then search Let's Crack On.org. 
So let's crack. I'm not going to fast forward it just for people that are following this the same as me. So let's crack on dot org. You need to pause the video, pause it now, but type that exact as you see it there and click on go. Give it a couple of moments just to load up that page. Then you're going to see a menu here. And if you click on that, there's a download section. If you do see an ad, the beauty of watching my videos is I tell you where not to click. So we're going to click on that cross there. And then if we scroll down this page, there's loads of different apps inside there for your Amazon device. You've got your mouse toggle set orientation. You've got speed test. You've got VPN safety dot, which were popular with a lot. Media players. You've got some movies and TV show apps. And something you may find very useful, it's at the top of the page underneath app stores. You're going to see it says Aptoid TV. Now, if I click on this and go down, I'm going to find the black download button there. Click on that. Give it a couple of moments. It says connecting. It'll start downloading. Take me off one sec. We go down and across to install. And then once that's installed, it's going to say it's ready to launch. Or you can click on done or open. I'm going to click on done. And then now what we want to do is click on delete and then delete again. If you don't do this, so you just click on done, on the left hand side, you're gonna see files and it's gonna save all of the installation files in there and they will use up your storage quite fast. So long hold the enter button on that and then click on delete and then it will get rid of it. Another thing you can do as well to make things faster in the future is let's crack on .org forward slash downloads we can click on the three line button at the top right hand corner and we can add the current page to favorites and click on save. Now you can do this with multiple different websites and every time you come on to downloader, what you can do is go to the left hand side, click on favorites and then click on whichever saved websites you've got and then it'll direct you straight there. Makes things much faster and much easier in the future. And then if I quickly just click on home, and now you can see I've got another notification. So I'm going to click on that. Click the three line button on the remote again for options. Dismiss all, get rid of that. And then we're going to go up to the apps section. So the three boxes and the plus icon. And then you can see this is Aptoid TV that we installed earlier. I've added that to my home screen. And now when opening that, this is a massive app store. I think there's just under a million apps on here. And a lot of them are apps that you won't find on such as the Amazon App Store. As you can see, we've got some official stuff in there. We've also got some third party apps. You've got categories, you've got gaming, you've got entertainment. Shut these loads, honestly. And then I'll quickly just show you one more app that you can install. If you can't find an app that you want from Aptoid TV or the Amazon store or my website, you can go to Downloader, Favorites. I'm going to go to that Downloads page again. And another one you can download and install is APK Time. Very useful, a lot of stuff in there. So another one you can bear in mind. And something else you need to remember whether you've installed Aptoid TV, APK Time, something else that downloads to your device, you will have to go across to settings again, then down and across to My Fire TV, like we showed at the beginning. Click on Install Unknown Apps, and then it'll give you the option for such as Aptoid TV to allow that to be able to install apps as well. Right, so here's one more thing I do recommend. If you're using third-party apps or unofficial apps that aren't downloaded and installed from such as the Amazon Store, I'd always recommend using a VPN. Now, this is your choice, but I'll leave a link in the description down below to my recommended, and I'm going to search it using the voice search, or you can just click on Find, IP Vanish. So IP Vanish is the app there. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on the download icon once again, like we did for downloader. So once that's finished, I'm going to click on home. I'm going to go across the apps drawer once again. So the boxes, long hold, and I'm going to move this to the home page. I'm going to quickly sign in. So let me just go across, click on that. Now to get a username and password, just use the link I have put in the description down below. It is an affiliated link, so it does help support the channel. And if you do use it, it's very much appreciated and thank you. So once you open the app up, I'd suggest clicking on where it says country and picking the region you are from. And then you can just choose city, best available, server, best available. 
click on connect make sure you click ok and then what this is going to do it's going to give you a different ip address meaning your internet service provider can't see what you're watching or what websites you're visiting but also any apps that you're visiting can't see your location so that's just a simple walkthrough of how you can set up your fire stick ready for streaming different apps you might, that might benefit you. And another one I did forget to mention is the Kevin Porteous website, which is also very reliable. But if you're watching this, somebody may have just sent it you to be able to install such as Downloader, and they'll be able to tell you which app is best for you. Because let's be honest, a lot of people own streaming devices now. So just knock on the next door neighbor's door and just say, what streaming app are you using, Matt? <laughs> I do apologize though, that video were pretty long, but I wanted to make it as simple and as easy as possible. And if you are having any other issues, do comment down below and either myself or somebody else in the comments section should be able to help you. So yeah, happy streaming. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I'm watching this and there's loads of useful stuff on this channel that knows. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da! Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because it was a... Because what? Well, <laughs> you know. And as that's... And as, as that's... <laughs> would, you would like to allow to install unknown sources or unknown... No, no, no. <laughs>